Okay, got a toilet with a banjo. Finally gonna be changing out. It's been a long time and wanting to change these out. These toilets have a lot of problems with clogging. Um, I'm in a, it's a manufactured home. And uh, the thing is they've got a banjo here. A lot of times the standard or a lot of the toilets don't fit. This one only has 30 inches and um, but I found a solution, one that sits um, much shorter. Um, it's a one-piece toilet, a little bit more expensive, but it will fix this problem with uh, the banjo. Let's jump right in and get it done. Make sure it's not glued at this point. Um, with this particular toilet, got the water on. Pull it up. So you kind of support it with one hand and pull the other part up, or with your second hand, pull it up, and that turns the water off. Flush it, and that'll flush the water out. And then the rest of the water will vacuum out with the wet dry vacuum. Sometimes I dump more water to get one more flush and uh, remove the rest of it. Um, the other thing that's a little different today is I'm going to be adding, using a different uh, toilet instead of a wax seal. This is a no wax seal. It's going to be better than wax. The advantage of this is when you go to plunge your toilet, if you had a really bad clog, it could actually push out the wax on the side and cause it to leak and you might not know that it's there. This one comes with the bolts and um, if you've got a recessed toilet in the ground then you use this seal and if not then you use just the wax seal on the top. It's a toilet seal. If you had a recessed toilet flange. Yep. Yeah. See how that goes today. So I'm just bringing this out little by little. I'm going to take the lid out as a start. Looks like maybe something else was going on spraying up there, so it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just carry it in all in one piece. Carry the, the uh, lid separate. Looks like the seat. And the lid's probably underneath, but that'll make it a little lighter. Carry it in one piece. Okay, the other thing that was important here is the space between, which is 12 inches here, to the to the bolt to to where the steel center is there. So now I'm gonna go the wet dry vacuum. It's about the fastest and easiest way to get the rest of the water out. Um, that way, taking out the old one so much easier. If my old bolts are good, I'm going to reuse them. If not, then and you look at the height of actually the, of the, the floor to the top of the bolt and make sure on the new toilet that the height is not much different because otherwise I need to make sure to use the new bolts as if, if I need them to sit higher. It looks like this is the same, so see, yeah, that'd be good. It's a nice new clean toilet. My bolts look good uh, on the old one. So, as long as everything's good there, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to 
Füße. This one was never caulked in, and I thought about caulking it in, but I knew I, from the early on I wanted to replace this toilet, so that's why I didn't caulk it in. I did put some spacers here as I felt like it had a little bit of movement to it, and uh, all I had was some old vertical blind uh, gears, so I used what I had. Good job. So these bolts, uh, if you're going to trim your bolts you always got to put the bolt on first and then that way when you unthread the nut put the nut on the bolt first and then then cut it with a hacksaw or whatnot and then when you unthread the nut it'll straighten out the threads so it won't cause you trouble okay I need to have a rag or something handy go this one I've got wing nuts on the tank so I might actually separate the tank and the and the deal because I've got it on my screwdriver nope that was a different screwdriver <laughs> had a pretty easy deal to take them apart I might just take them apart too I'm gonna vacuum out a bit more here just because I gotta carry it through the house, I'll make it a little bit lighter to carry it in two pieces. It'll go easy, I'll do it that way. It'll be a little a lot lighter. And a lot easier to dispose of. That side went good. Go inside. This side went good too. take out the tank by itself and make it a lot lighter to carry the carry the other deal out much easier a couple pieces so now I was lifting up the old toilet and I'll be taking it out so you heard it fall 
from the deal and it should be pretty easy to clean up the wax and all that but now so it's, just, it's way light nice and easy okay this time i've got some real toilet wedges instead a little bit better uh gonna use the box of a new wax deal to scrape up the old wax deal hopefully this will work out good And this uh, flange is above ground, so if it was below ground, we'd use this extra little spacer. We're not going to need that extra spacer. We're just going to use the blue portion, just like so. So we insert it just like that. I'm going to pull my deals out here. I'm going to clean all this up a little bit. Just been able to get under the front there a little bit. With the new um, toilet, I'll be caulking it in, so making that much stronger. strong flange. So that's great. Okay. With the new toilet, what I'm going to be doing is going to be caulking around the entire base of it so that... I'll show you that. container of tub and tile that quick seal plus and uh, this one's a microbial I'll try to put a link for all of the items needed in the description below but caulking is nice in that it, it um, it uh, seals anything out the problem with uh, you have a is doing it this way is you won't be able to see it if it leaks your first time, um, but it does make a stronger seal in the long run. So you have the option of you know if you run the bead on the bottom first, then it can make it a little bit stronger. But the uh, disadvantage is then you can't get those first few flushes and see if it leaks right away. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we're going to have a good deal here. So I'm going to put it on. This will make for a stronger one and one. Okay, on the 
deal here, I won't be using the the deal came with the little gasket and the deal, so we'll pull that gasket out. I've got this is all one piece, so people don't like these. Some people it's not too bad. For me, I think it's not too bad. Nice thing about all in one toilet is there's less to leak. You have no tank to bowl bolts, so it's kind of nice. Okay, I'll rotate it into position. Line up with the holes. Banjo. Kind of sitting a little high. I think that's because of the the flange. Oops. That's not kind of don't like that flange so much. Really high. Well, that's what the wedges are for. But it's way high. I think it's going to look nicer leveled towards the back, so I'm going to put these wedges in the front, kind of how I have the vertical blind deals. Okay. Put it in the side too, and that's all the wedges I got. That'll work. And I guess the caulking on the bottom, not not so much. Won't, won't do so much. So I've got those other Vertical blind deals. I'm gonna put those around the back. So, oh man, it's, they're seated way high off the bottom, off the back too.
Hold it on down and see how it goes. Too young to that flange. Okay, so this had those caps. This came with its own caps. Let me grab those. Okay, this has these jumbo caps that are kind of cool. And these, I think it says this side up. Yeah. Okay. So, go this side up. And then the washer. Oh, gosh. And the bolt. Okay. So get the bolt started and we'll balance this out. And now we alternate in between each side. Otherwise, we won't be able to snap the cap on. Looks good. Looks real good. Looks nice and level. You can put a level on it. Put pressure on it. To see if it moves at all. We don't want any movement there. It does a little bit. to balance that to what it is.
some more wedges for make that a little bit better. I actually do have an idea. It's the old these, the old caps. Maybe I can use these under in between. is okay. Now it's gonna be hooking up the water getting the flush. Let's see how it goes. Okay. It's got these huge caps. Uses a regular fluid master float, so that's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's see how this one is. Looks good. Rocking one, it rocks a little bit. It's gonna be hard with that. The way that flange is, so gonna be caulking it in. Caulking will make it stronger. But I don't like how that flange is that or sits. I should say. Okay. But important part is it is leak. So let's go ahead and turn the water on and see what happens. Okay, with this we just squeeze it down. Water's on. You don't for any leaks, no leaks there. Filling up. Filling up back there. The dual flush is on the left side and the lighter flush on the right side. So we'll just mimic that. It's funny, Home Depot has this like certain smell. And this thing smells like Home Depot right now. I never thought about it, but no bleach tablets. Do not use drop in toilet bowl cleaners containing bleach or fluoride. See, they'll 
You can scan this thing for replacement parts, so I guess they want you to leave the sticker in there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down a bit better. Okay. Here we go. Weird little cover there. Alright. There's definitely no... Let's go with... Uh, the half flush, I guess. On the right side. It's good. And then we'll go with the full flush. Here's the full flush. Oh. Kind of weak. stick my hand in a toilet bowl oh, but the thing is brand new so no one's used it I see a mark down in there wanted to clean that out all right it's brand new no one's ever used it <laughs> so nothing to worry about as long as it wasn't a return Nothing leaking, no water out here. It's good. Seems to take kind of a long time to fill, though. I don't know if that's my shut off or what. Okay, here goes the, the regular dual flush. Okay. Looks like I'll need that paint behind. Touch up paint. Pretty cool looking deal. That must be the full flush. And the other one. So I think I need to rotate this around. Looks like the dual flush on this is on the right side. Okay, next is the toilet seat and, and the bolt caps. Here's the caps, they just snap into place. It's real simple. Push it on. That one's going to be stellar. Both going to be stellar. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, 
possible that it said this side down and I missed it and I got it wrong. Or is it just not positioned well? For sure. Kind of a piece of junk right there. Oh shoot, I was going to say I'd switch to the other style, but I can't because I used it for a wedge. Oh gosh. Well, I do have some other kinds. There's some times that go over the bolts as a different option if that doesn't work. So, like that. Next is the seat. Seems like a pretty good solid seat. And so far, the only thing I didn't like was that, well, I like my flange and I didn't like those bolt caps too much. But it'll work. The other toilet just clogged too much, so I'm ready to not have a toilet clog all the time. This has some pads and Wonder why they go through all this, these extra little things. It's a good thing. In the long run. Hopefully the engineers. Sometimes I think they should have to assemble their own products and work on their own products a little bit though. 
sometimes they come up with some funny stuff. That's good. Since I moved up that deal, I should retest this here. <laughs> Good. So this one, the washer goes through the top. So that it helps the seat stay in place. Just fold down into place like so. You should be. We are in. All right. Let's see. That's the full flush. different. Okay. Okay. Seal this in. It's probably going to take a few rounds of the caulking to make sure I have no moisture at all. There you go. So that's great. I'm going to take a few rounds of the caulking to seal this off. Let's see if I like. Does it look level? Looks level to me. Got more light. I may have to add some more wedges just for stronger support. That looks good. Yeah, let's talk. 
Okay. Oh gosh. Definitely, I need to see the end of the car. Buy another another tube of carking too. Nice.
There we go. There it is for now. Another round of the caulking. A little touch of paint. And it's all set. But that's uh, the solution for uh, under the banjo toilet. A little more expensive than the regular one, but it'll fit uh, much better. Didn't have to modify the banjo. It's a dandy. Mm -hmm.